Here's number one, Miss Valley Miser, owned and trained by Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. Tom Bussey is up. Number two, S.H. Revrack is owned by John Carver of Rock Island, Irvin Miller of Springfield, Omer Miller of Humboldt, and Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller. Michael Osting is in the bike. Three is Zoom, 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 owned by Richard and Doug Talley of Carrollton, trained and driven by Doug Talley. Number four, Mystical Brook is owned by Dennis and Kevin Lacomies, Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Dirk Simpson of Springfield, and Dr. Tom Pollard of Danville, trained by Dirk Simpson, Dave McGee driving. Number five, M.A. Princess, owned by Hyla Dwarick of Lovington, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Number six, Pegasaurus, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas, trained by Jerry Logan, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number six, Fox Valley Birdie, owned by Gerald Vinnie Viviani of Charleston, trained by Paul Phillips. The driver is Larry Binkley. Number eight, Chasse, owned by Bill Gross of Louisville and Ann Gross Friedley of Tamaroa. Quentin Wade Barbary, the trainer and driver. Number nine, C Melody, a scratch. Post time in less than three minutes. Track is fast. Last night, the first county fair challenges went to Scott T. Yankee in the three-year-old Colt Gelding Trot, and OG's Susie P. won the nightcap last night, the County Fair Challenge for sophomore pacing fillies. Three-year-old trotting fillies are at the post, the gate's rolling. Here they come. They're off and trotting. There goes Fox Valley Birdie on the far outside with Pegasaurus. Mystical Brook is down toward the inside showing early speed, and Mystical Brook moves up and gets to the front and gets over next to the rail, leading it by a length. Pegasaurus is three wide around the first turn and moves up into second. M.A. Princess dives over toward the rail and moves up from third to second now as Pegasaurus is still parked. Mystical Brook leads M.A. Princess. Pegasaurus backs up on the outside. S.H. Revrack moves by her into third, and Pegasaurus goes on a break. Fox Valley Birdie is fourth, a good front quarter, 28 and one. Mystical Brook leads them onto the backstretch by a length to M.A. Princess, S.H. Revrack, Fox Valley Birdie, and Miss Valley Miser. A gap of nearly five more to zoom, zoom, zoom. Then Pegasaurus and Chasse is last, racing over 10 lengths off the lead. Here comes Fox Valley Birdie off the rail, moving up on the outside into second, but Mystical Brook is the leader at the half, and she leads it by a length. Fox Valley Birdie parks second a half length. M.A. Princess is against the rail third, flanked by S.H. Revrack in fourth. They got the half in 57 and two. Mystical Brook leads them into the far turn by a length. Fox Valley Birdie is still parked in second by a head. Then M.A. Princess is third, followed by S.H. Revrack. Pegasaurus moves up into fifth, just three and a half lengths off the lead. Then Miss Valley Miser, zoom, 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 and Chasse. At the three quarters, Mystical Brook is the leader. Here comes S.H. Revrack, and now M.A. Princess in between those two. M.A. Princess is up to get the lead by a head. Three quarters, 127 and one. Mystical Brook is now second toward the rail. S.H. H. Revrack is third, Pegasaurus is fourth, they turn for home. M.A. Princess leads it a length and a half to Mystical Brook and S.H. Revrack up on the outside into the final eighth mile. M.A. Princess leading S.H. Revrack and also Mystical Brook who's still there toward the inside with Pegasaurus in fourth. Mystical Brook tries to fight back, but M.A. Princess hangs tough. S.H. Revrack a final try, but M.A. Princess wins it by a neck from S.H. Revrack in second. Mystical Brook third, 156 and three by a full second. That's a new stakes record. Folks, with his county fair challenge record, 19th win as a driver, and County Fair Challenge record, 12th win as trainer. How about a hand for Andy and Irvin Miller with number five, M.A. Princess. Result is official, and Fred Huff, who for many years was publicity director for the DeCoin State Fair and co-authored a book on the history of the fair that was published last year, 
makes the trophy presentation in the winner's circle. Again, result official. Let's talk to Andy Miller, our winning driver. Andy, this is a nice kind of filly. She was a $5,500 yearling purchase for Highland Warwick and after tonight has won well over $40,000. Come down the stretch, SH Revrec came at you a little bit. You know that, Philly, but you were never too concerned, really, were you? No, not really. Uh, my filly got real aggressive sitting in the hole, and I choked her a little bit. She got a little limber late, but uh, she still had trot left. This filly was bred by your father, Marvin Miller. Does that make it extra special when you win a race with a horse bred by Pop? Oh, uh, sure does. That always uh, makes it special. And how's Anna Mae? Doing real good. Tell your folks hello and congratulations. Thank you. How about a hand for Andy Miller, folks, our winning driver. More in a moment. 